Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Um, I've got some more Ernie Els footage here. On the left hand side he's playing a sort of short chip. You know, maybe the ball's going to carry sort of 5 yards, 10 yards maximum. On the right hand side was a few years later and he's playing about a 30, 40 yard pitch shot. So this footage from the left was all taken at the same point at Champions Gate. I think this is after Ernie had won two tournaments in a row, I think sort of mid 90s and he felt his game was at his best and they sort of videoed the whole action so I've seen you know these swings sort of in terms of him hitting an iron but I've, I haven't ever seen post online him chipping so I thought I'd share it with you so for me really this would be again a model action for a uh, short game I think Ernie's really known as one of the great exponents of it so you can see in terms of setup for his standard shot there he's got the ball really nicely in the middle of his ankles he's got a slight shaft lean you know narrow stance maybe three centimeters four centimeters in width there and what you see in most of the great chippers the front shoulder works down a little the head if anything moves towards the target um, the work I've done with James Siegman he'll always talk about you know the energy or the upper body is always working towards the target in short game which I'd agree with so you can see that his head, if anything's moved a little forward, and now he rotates the head relatively early, which allows the chest to keep moving through. He's going to create that straight line two centimeters past the ball that really pretty much all good short game players in their standard shots tend to create. So that would be an absolute ideal there. Lower body's quiet. And now everything responds and turns and moves through. So on the right hand side now you're going to see a similar movement, just a slightly longer swing. Compared to on the uh, left hand side you can see the club face is a little more open at address. So he's playing a slightly higher shot here using the bounce a little bit more. But you're still going to see how he's going to stack slightly forward. So you can see if anything his head's actually moved forward then and these swings were or footage so it was taken on a tripod so we know it's not the camera moving so if anything actually now the head's moved forward which allows him to release the shaft aggressively and again create that nice sort of straight line two centimeters past the ball see how shallow the strike there you know the club hasn't dug into the ground the head releases body keeps turning through so to me that would be a ideal action I didn't really want to overly talk on these videos I just wanted to sort of post it so guys could look at this and I think use it as a model going forward